It's still your program, Youthful in Christ. And today in the studio we have Reverend Father Tom Ave and uh, my friends here, Miss Stephanie Ekechi and uh, Mr. Michael Wally, who is the PRO of the Catholic Youth Organization Abuja Archdiocese. Father, last year you organized a program, a youth camp, the first yes. of its kind. Yes. Can you give us a brief assessment of what the successes are and the challenges for last year and what we hope to expect for this year? Um, last year was the very first event of uh, Easter Youth Camp. In fact, that uh, is the reason why we have the Volunteers for Christ. It was a success. We, we planned for about 150 youths, but we had about 315. It, it, it was a huge success because I never knew it was going to come out like that. The, the youth came, they enjoyed themselves, the medical check up, we planned, everything was just so wonderful. The event, out of town, all the way to Abaji. So many people have, have not been to Abaji before. That was an opportunity for them to go to Abaji. The atmosphere was good, so it was a, it was a success. But um, uh, it was, we are yet to get to that uh, uh, camp, uh, camping uh, activities that we see outside the country. Yeah, we have the, 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 the camp tents and every other activities that goes with the camp. But I know by the time we get to maybe the fifth edition, we are going to actualize our camping festive activities. So this is going to be bigger than what we had uh, last year because we are building up on what we had last year. Okay, talking about volunteering, you are a volunteer, Stephanie. Can you please give us a rundown of the program for this year? This year's camp is going to run from Friday the 26th to 28th of April. It's going to be a three days uh, event. And then uh, the theme for this year is renewing our faithfulness to God. And then we have um, packed uh, activities beginning with the Holy Mass. We have the talk, which is going to be based on the theme. We have the catechesis. We are going to have interactive sections, networking, so that young people can come together to actually discuss and try to find themselves. So it's also a way for them to also build relationships amongst themselves, which is going to happen during the campfire section. And that's the social aspect of it. And then we're going to have the medical test we have medical tests that run from the blood group, genotype, the uh, hepatitis B, and then tuberculosis. Uh, sometimes we know, especially that of hepatitis B, thanks to the medical professionals who are going to be there to give us um, talks on this, because we may not really know what to avoid or what to do. Um, hepatitis B is something that don't really show it doesn't come out like that of um, malaria. You may actually have it within you. But how do you tend to know the symptoms? They'll come and give us talks on that. So these are all of them. Then we also have um, the sporting activities then. Of course, you have to be fit. So there'll be a platform for that for us to have the sporting, the sporting activities. Um, that for that, uh, every other thing is just within the Friday to Sunday. Sunday is the wrap-up. We're going to have the Thanksgiving. We all go to thank God for a day. And you know, it's Easter camp. We tagged it Easter camp 2019. And the venue is going to be at St. Andrew's Parish, Oroso. Easter is the time for us to celebrate. And Christ is the reason. So we come together to celebrate the resurrection of Christ. Okay, Mr. Michael, I have heard you once say, my name is Michael, I am AA, and I'm O positive. Where did you get that from? Yeah, uh, you know, uh, we, uh, Ima, we have this uh, mentality that whenever youth are having a program, there's uh, some, uh, some negative aspect of it. But we as volunteers, we've uh, looked deeply into that. How can we solve it? That's why we have this uh, relationship talk, and also the genotypes and blood group talk, so that before you start any relationship, you have to know your uh, status. And this year, we want to be very strict that everybody must know their genotype, your blood group, so that after leaving the camp, someone that you are feeling for there, and you think of having something 
better in the future. No need of uh, going to any hospital again. Already, you already know from the onset that when he or she was introducing yes, myself, sir. like me, if I want to introduce myself to any lady, not any guy, okay. any lady, I would just say, my name is Mike, uh, I'm AA and O positive. From there, she will know that, oh, this guy is A, because AA can marry anybody. Okay. That's a, a big of uh, uh, ad, uh, advantage for us. So that's why we always uh, kind of come for this youth camp. From there, you know a lot of things about your earth challenges. And it's going to be free of charge. Okay. So. Everything is covered for. I, I mean, I have to write to many NGOs. In fact, the UNODC, United Nations Organization for Drug uh, Abuse and Crime, they will be coming to talk about drug abuse. Many youths are into drugs these days. Many youths. And most of them are in it, and they are not aware. So, the drug aspect and also that of genital is, is, will be the fruit of. Of, of this youth camp because I, I expect that every youth people get into relationship. Pastoral, my pastoral experience is, uh, is that you see young people, they love themselves when it's time for marriage, the, the, the girl is AS, the boy is AS, boom, problems. So it's good. My, my, my dream is that every young person should know his or her genotype. So that from the time go, when you're falling in love, you also fall in love with the genotype. You know that you are AA, you are AS. It, it makes it, the picture is clearer so that you don't have any regrets when you, when you put in more, uh, too much energy and time in, in your relationship. That is, that, that is my aim, one of the major aim for this uh, uh, youth camp. And that is why we are expecting large numbers. 500 is the minimum, 1,000 maximum. Although we are thinking of 500, but we are making plans for 1,000 people, actually. Okay, uh, thank you very much. I think uh, probably you would have used a hall mm -hmm. or any other avenue. Why did you decide to take people to a camp? What do you hope to achieve? Are you trying to make them more strong to face any challenge in their future? Or what is the rationale behind camping them at a time like this? And what do you, how do you hope to manage security? I think the young people just have to start getting used to camping festive activities, getting used to things that is not the normal day-to-day -day activities. You know, our society is full of ups and downs. So the camping activities is leaving your comfort zone into a new environment that does not have that comfort that you are used to. Tomorrow, the society gets bad. You should be able to oh. I've been able to manage with, with the whole situation. And that is what you see when you see our brothers and sisters in Europe. Billionaires go for camping because they want to see the other phase of life, the natural things that come to life, to, to experience life with nature. So I think that is why we're having a camp, so that the young people will also get used to that way of life, not just always sitting in the house and thinking everything. Just like Jesus went to, to, to the desert when he was preparing for his passion. He left the, 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 the normal day environment and went high the mountains for the transfiguration. So there's always, uh, uh, it's always good for us to try something new. Mm -hmm. And that is what we have, we have brought to, to, to the Catholic youth of, of, of Abuja. Security is at the topmost of our budget. It's at the top. Because we are bringing on men to ensure that our people are safe. We know that insecurity is everywhere, but we must ensure that the people are safe and everything is going on well. So we are covered in the aspect of security. Nobody should be afraid. All young people, come. Catholic, non-Catholic, Muslim. Once you are young, from the age of, now let me say 18. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. From the age of 18 <laughs> to the age of 33, if you are above 33, okay, no problem. No problem. come. You are going to have uh, a beautiful experience, having uh, so many fun, the, the program is packed full, and I assure you, people will go back happier than they came here. You are also invited. Yeah, I'm <laughs> sure I'll be there, God willing. What does Campy mean for you? Campy means self-discovery, in summary, self-discovery. Okay. Mm -hmm. Mike? Uh, Campy to me is like I'm looking for my own adventure. Okay. 
They look like the youth likes adventures a lot. <laughs> but sometimes they are not ready for the adventure. Yeah. And I'm very sure too many, so many people will still complain. Oh, Father, uh, the place I slept is not comfortable. Yeah. No, no mosquitoes. I showed that. In Abaju didn't have mosquitoes because I had to fumigate, fumigate the, the place. Yeah. I'm also making plans for that. It's, it's costing me a, a, a lot for this. Yes. But the Archdiocese is, 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 uh, is supporting me, supporting the youth ministry in, the, in our programs. And also have friends, my mother and those other friends that also gives us funds to organize yeah. our programs. So that is why it's, it's just a thousand naira for three days. A thousand naira per person. Okay, I think that's so 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 a thousand naira cannot give you seven meals. We are preparing seven meals. A thousand naira cannot give you two meals, two good meals. We are preparing seven meals. We are giving them free health uh, uh, care. So everything is free, literally free. The one thousand naira for you to know that yes, it's not you know when you make things totally oh, free, people don't want to. Yes, people to say ah. Yes. But this time around, just pay a thousand naira and come in for the camp. Last day was 500. Unfortunately, in Nigeria, the things, things, <laughs> things, too. things <laughs> gets hard. <laughs> but you are praying, you know that things will get better. We will still have hope for a better Nigeria tomorrow. Thank you very much. For